Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you're my patron subscriber, welcome. And just quickly before we begin, I just want to say a few things. What do you guys think about my icon? I had a professional uh, designer make me into the mascot of the channel. And so I really hope you guys like it. Just to say a few more things before we do begin. Um, if you guys are interested in donating and helping other people, um... With our Thanksgiving and giving them a really good time, or you want to donate food, I am um, endorsing Project Safety Net. And so you guys can go to my community page and you can find all the information there that you need. Without further ado, if you go to my description, you'll find all the information you need from donation to personal reading requests to um, my store, even. So everything that you need is in the description below. Um, quickly before we begin, this is just for entertainment purposes only. We're going to jump right in it. We do have a lot of people that I need to cover. Okay. This is Biden cabinet and then plus more information. Yes, I did my research. So, I uh, yes, I do have, um, quite a lot of people to go through for today. And so, the reason why I'm not live is because of that specific reason. Um, anyone who has not been um, projected for a seat or has been projected for a, a seat in a Biden cabinet, all of them are already in the description below. I got it from CNN. All these are people that are not being projected, so we'll be reading on them. So the first um, seat that we're going to be looking at is the Secretary of State. Okay, so now we have three contenders. We have Anthony Blinken, Chris Coons, and Susan Rice. Okay. No, we actually got more than that. Okay, so... Let me just do this. No, okay, so... Okay, so that's, that's how we're going to do it. Alright, so... For um, Anthony Blinken, for Secretary of State, we have in, uh, the first three cards. It's not that good. These are my negative cards. These are my negative cards. They're not good. And so we have white supremacy, we have ceiling, and we have almost feeling bogged down. I'm not accusing this guy of anything, but what I can say is that based on um, my projection with these cards in the past, it's a no for Anthony Blinken. Now for Chris Coons, we have right now, he is a former senator. He right now holds, I believe, Biden's Delaware seat in the Senate. And so um, we do have here, this is where he is. This is Biden coming into the presidency. This is my Biden card. Then his final outcome? No. He's not going to get the deal. He's not going to get it. It's just reverse. Well, tells me no, Chris Coons will not be Secretary of State. Now, we have here for Susan Rice. We have, in the past, she works with Obama. And she was very fortunate enough. And she made a lot of money off of it. She did a phenomenal job as... Not sure what she did, but she did something. Then we have here presently, she victorious, and she's, they're considering her as a, con a major contender for the seat. And it looks like, this is my Biden-Harris card, it looks like Susan Rice will become the next Secretary of State. And so I'm going to circle that, just so I know who I am getting. So Susan Rice will now be um, the Secretary of State based on what my tower cards are saying. Now... Tower cards only give me the likeliest outcome, never the actual results. So to please take everything with a grain of salt. I am not a predictor of your future or anyone's future. I am just giving you the likeliest path or likeliest outcome. Things can very well change. All right, for Secretary of Treasury, we have Lagdal Bernard and Stavro Bloom Raskin. For Secretary of Treasury, Spirits and Angels tell me. Oh, if I'm too fast for you guys, go into uh, the description. I tell you how to open up the transcript and you guys can read at your own pace. Okay, so for Secretary of Treasury, Liddell, do the whole deck. Two more cards for Sarah Balloon Raskin. Okay. One more. Alright, so for Liddell Bernard, for. Bernard. Okay, so we have here for Liddell Bernard. We have, um, she's very upset in the past. It's a good opportunity. She's on the contender list. But it doesn't look like if she did, 
it'll be five very slim majority. It'll be like, all right, well, I guess we're gonna have to go with her. It doesn't really feel like, if anything, that Biden really wants her on her team. Well, he does, not that he doesn't want her. I feel like he, she wouldn't be his first pick if you would ask me as Secretary of Treasury. Now, we also have here for Stavro Bloom Raskin. We had the Ace of One reverse, which tells me that she could have had it. She must have been on the list at some point, but for another president, then she was like overlooked for someone else. We have here, she may not get a very fair shot when it comes to nominating her, but in the Senate to um, the cabinet. But it looks like she's gonna win in the end and she may, she might be able to pull through. And so this is my new leader card, which tells me that um, if anything, Sarah Bloom Raskin will be most likely to become the next Secretary of Treasury. So I'm gonna circle that. The next one that we're gonna be doing is Secretary of Veteran Affairs. Let's see what they have to say. All right. Now we only have one person as Patrick Murphy. Spirits and Angels tell me, please give me three cards for Patrick Murphy. Three cards. No. So we have here in the past, um, he was on a transition team. Right now, he is most likely not going to get it. There's an opportunity, and more likely than not, he'll probably end up being a UN ambassador rather than Secretary of Veteran Affairs. It looks like it's going to be a lot of pushback from the Republicans. Now, it's going to be also a lot of pushback from the Democrats, probably the progressive side. So I don't think they're going to want Patrick Murphy. So I'm going to hit no. All right. So now we're going to do Secretary of Defense. If you guys are wondering who Biden has already nominated to Pacific Seas, all the information is in the description below, and you can find that out who's already nominated. Uh, so we have Secretary of Defense, Tammy Duckworth and Michelle Flournoy. All right, Spirits and Angels. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very well, it can go either way for either person because we have with Tammy Duckworth. She's very strong. She's a very strong person. Very diverse, uh, actually. Right now, it's going to be pretty tight. It's going to be pretty competitive. If she wants to see, she's going to have to really fight for it. But it looks like in the end, this is the White House. And in the end, she's going to end up getting that seat. Like, she's going to end up probably most likely to get the seat. Then we have here Michelle Flannoy. There was an offer in the past for her to take it. The seat was probably during Barack Obama's time. We have um, underneath the fighting. We have a Knight of Pentacles, so she brings more of a calmness and more sense of sincerity to the defense team. So they're not sure what way they want to go with a little bit more of an aggressive approach or something more of like a diplomacy approach. And so that's what I'm seeing here, the difference. Now I could be wrong, but that's what the cards are telling me. Then we have here Death. So this is normally my transition card, but I'm really seeing it here like it's not look like it doesn't look like she's going to end up getting it. But it could be wrong. She could be on a transition team. That doesn't mean she's in the cabinet. And so I'm going to go with my gut here. And I'm going to stick with the White House. And so Tammy Duckworth will most likely be the Secretary of Defense for uh, Biden. All right. So now we're going to do it the Attorney General. We have about four people. We have Ja Johnson. We have Doug Jones from Alabama, a former senator from Alabama. We have Sally Yates, and we have Deval Patrick. So let me just get my water and then we need general. Oh, this is gonna be tough. All right, so we have for Jeff Johnson. In the past, he must have done something in a previous administration. He ended up leaving over time and early or whatever it is that he did, I have no idea. He's being offered, he's being considered, he is like the front runner here, so he is being considered. But in the end, it doesn't look like he's gonna end up taking the seat. So Jack Johnson is not gonna take it. Doug Jones, he was a former sen senator in Alabama under President Trump. We have, um, it's, he's a little bit beaten up. He seems more of a weak person, like very weak, like he's not able to handle the job correctly, especially the law, even though he's a very good person. However, he does have a lot of good in him. He, he, it does, this is an amazing card. This is probably one of the most best cards in the deck. And so, this is like a strong yes. However, he does have competition. I will definitely say that. 
We do have for Sally Yates. We have strength. We have um, the media kind of thing, like confusion. So she might be a little confused. She might be being considered for multiple um, cabinets. So that's probably where Sally Yates is. However, it doesn't look like she's going to end up getting AJ. So right now it's just Doug Jones. Then we have Deval Patrick, who he must have been a senator or someone. He must be someone really popular. He must have been in something like working in the White House, Congress, or I'm not sure. If you guys know, comment in the description below, in the comments below, I mean. And he's all about justice, serving the law. And AG here is all about serving the law. And so I'm a little confused. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them, the spirit guys, give me one card for each. I mean, one card for Doug Jones and one card for Sally Yates. I mean, excuse me. One card for Doug Jones and one card for Deval Patrick. And whoever gets the better card will be the one that's most likely going to take it. Unless I need some clarifiers, then two for each. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, Spirits and Angels, tell me about the Attorney General. Can I have one card for Doug Jones? One card for Doug Jones. Is he going to become the next Attorney General? I'm here. I'm getting a message to do Stacey Abrams, so let me just look at her. Is Stacey Abrams going to become the next Attorney General? It's okay, so there's going to be a little bit of pushback here. Let's see. Now, because we have here, she there's a, there's a lot of fighting in the past. She's being considered for many, many positions, but not for AG. It's most likely she won't be able to. She'll end up struggling. And so, no, I don't see Stacey Abrams. So, let's go back to Doug Jones and Naval Patrick. Okay, one card for the Doug Jones for Attorney General, please. One card that represents Doug Jones. Will he get the seat? Okay, Doug Jones. One card for Deval Patrick as Attorney General. One card for um, Deval Patrick as Attorney General. Okay. So, we'll take that as two. Alright, so immediately, I'm going to go with Deval Patrick. Because we have Doug Jones. He's a little weak. He's a little beaten up from a lot of the things that he's done. I feel like he's not as experienced as... Deval Patrick, because he said here he's going to betray Trump. He's going to go after Trump is what I'm seeing here, and he'll be the great guy to do it as Attorney General. And so what I, if I see, feel here, and if you guys remember, um, Deval Patrick had the justice card, which tells me that he's going to end up getting the seat. And so I am going to put Deval Patrick as the next Attorney General. All right, now we're going to do the Secretary of Homeland Security. We have Alejandro McCorkas. I could be wrong. And we have Alicia and Monaco. Okay, okay, okay. Please, please. They're going to really pop out my shoulder. I'm going to be honest with you. If I need to clarify, I'll leave them here. All right, so we have for Alejandro Mercos, we have Very Happy. Right now, she is the leading contender, or he. Uh, leading, leading contender for Secretary of Homeland Security. This is a big opportunity. And it looks like this person's going to end up taking the seat. But we're going to look at... Um, Lisa Monaco. So, in the past, she had a good relationship with Joe Biden. We have, yeah. So, she, uh, this is Biden being elected president-elect. So, this is the relationship with Joe Biden. Her advantage here is president-elect Biden. And in the future, no. She won't be getting the seat. And so, if anything, it's going to be um, Alice Janta or Mayor Cars. And I'm getting a message to look at the cars. It's, um, it's predictable. She might have more opportunities along her way in the Biden administration. So, she might play a different type of role, but not a role of Homeland Security. It's going to be Alejandro Mayorkas. She's going to take the seat or he. All right, so now we have Secretary of, Com Secretary of Commerce. We have Andrew Yang. Let's see. Will he take that seat? And let's look at um, also Stacey Abrams, see if she'll take it. Okay, spirits and angels tell me, because it's taking me bottom, to tell me to take the bottom. Okay, so yes, Andrew Yang will indeed become the next Secretary of Commerce. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, it's a great opportunity. Biden really liked what he's talked about, I think his, um, the college thing, income, 
stuff like that. We have here is a big yes, and they're going to be making a deal. So yes, it I do see Andrew Yang as the Secretary of, Secretary of Commerce. Okay, so Secretary of the Interior, Deb Haaland and Tom Udall. Okay, so Spears and Angels, tell me about Secretary of Interior. Okay, so let's we'll take that here. It doesn't look like it's going to be either of them. Because we have a Debs Holland. We have Shrimp in the past. We have, she has the advantage. She helped Biden win the seat. Or she might she might have been involved in something. Then we have here now, it looks like it's going to go to someone new. Someone else. And then we have here for Tom Vidal. This is like the story here. Victory in the past. The Empress. He's being challenged by a woman, like another, another contender. So another contender might be a woman. So whoever takes this place might be a woman. I don't see Tom Udall taking it. It needs to be a woman. And so he, he's going to end up walking away. And let me just see if, if this is Stacey Abrams. Is this Stacey Abrams? No. Uh, no, she, she, they're, they're looking at her in multiple different things. So no, it doesn't really look like it's going to be her. I'm going to say no to both of them. All right, so for health and human services, we have Michelle LeJean Grisham. We have Vicket Murphy. And we have Gina Romano. Okay, Spirit and Answers time. Michelle LeJean Grisham. We have the Ace of Wand. It's an opportunity in the past, so maybe she may have been considered out of previous um, administration. We have... A lot of experience, a lot of exposure. She is the leading contender. And um, we also have the Knight of Wands. This is my card normally leaving, but it can also go in forward. So, depending on, it's all the decision rights is on her. So, it looks like if she doesn't say yes, someone else will take the place. Whoever that is, it's going to be something different. We do have Bigot and Murphy. And we have, for him cards, for his cards, we have... Not good. So no, he won't ever. He won't get the seat. We have victory in the past. Right now, he's trouble. He's trying to get out of smoother waters. I've seen he may have some sort of COVID or some sort of illness. Here we have here troubles going to smoother, calmer waters, and then we have strife. So no, maybe he didn't endorse Biden right away. Maybe he's a little skeptical. Maybe he endorsed someone else. But so that's going to be a little problematic. Then we have Gina Romano. We have Temperance. Who? She might have some sort of experience in healthcare, which would explain why she's on the list. Right now, they're not too sure, pardonly, if she's even going to be on the list. But if anything, she'll be more of an abundance, and she'll do a lot of great things. And so, this is the only one with the throne. And like I said, for um, Michelle, it looks like the card is leaving away from her, and Shrife for Vigel. And so, King of Pentacles for. Gina Romano will most likely end up taking the health and human services. So she will definitely take the seat. Alright, so we're going to do Secretary of Labor. We have Andy Levin, Bernie Sanders, Sarah Nelson, and Marty Walsh. Okay, so the time we take two. Alright, so we have for Andy Levin, we have the Fool. In the past, so he might have been inexperienced. Now he has some sort of experience. We have the Knight of Pentacles. He's the one that's being the top. He's the top name, top contender. He's being offered. Or well, that's what the media thinks. He does have a lot of strength. He will show a lot of strength in Secretary of Labor. He does have the skill for it. However, for Bernie Sanders, we have the Hank's Man. He ran twice in, in two presidential primaries for the Democratic ticket. A loss, so he does have a little pull. However, he is more of um, what's it call it? He will. He's a very controversial figure in some American politics because it's gonna be harder to push through for the confirmation if they pick him. But if they go with him, he'll be very good at what he does. It is a very democratic seat, and so if anything, he'll be a very progressive pick. However, we do have a more conservative pick as well. We have Sarah Nelson. We have here, in the past, she wasn't even considered for this position or any position in a previous administration. Right now, she is the second favorite to uh, take the Secretary of Labor. 
And this is a more conservative pick for the Biden administration. Now we do have here, we do have for Marty Walt, the moon in the past. So he was a very hidden. Maybe he was, maybe he's been a nobody in the past. We do have here, this is a good opportunity, a big opportunity for him. And then in the future, we have the sun upright, but they're telling me to take this card as well. And so we do have a little tight. So something's going to be revealed, maybe like a scandal. And so Marty Walls may not be um, the person who would end up taking that seat. And so let me just ask about who they're going to pick. Can I have one? Who are they going to pick? Marty uh, Bernie Sanders or Sarah Nelson for Secretary of Labor? Show me a card for Bernie Sanders. One card. Show me a card for Bernie Sanders. Okay, so, and for Sarah Nelson, show me a card for Sarah Nelson. Well, they put her as the next Secretary of State. We have here, it's undecided, but one thing they know for sure is that Bernie Sanders is going to be very controversial, but they're still debating on whether or not Sarah Nelson still the pet. So Bernie Sanders still has a fighting chance to become the Secretary of Labor. So I'm going to cancel out Andy Levin and Marty Walls, and it's just really between Bernie Sanders and Sarah Nelson. All right, so now we have Transportation Secretary. We have Raham Emanuel, and we have Eric Garcia. Garcia. I don't even know how to spell these people's names. So complicated. All right, person. Okay. Well, that's a lot of cars, so let me just pick the first three. I use these as clarifiers. Okay, so we have here for Raham Emanuel, we have um, a steed here. So in the past, he may have been some popular figure. I'm not even sure who he is. We have strength. So he's a very strong candidate. He's a very strong candidate for this position. But because of his inexperience, he is going to be a little bit harder to pull through the set in for confirmation. Now we do have for Transportation Secretary for Eric Garcetti, we do have here is a decision being made in the past. We do have here there is a stronger offer. He's, it, this is the advantage the offer is going to him most likely. He ends up getting the seat because he's the, he's the, they figured he's the best one for the job. However, something's going to be revealed with him and the Transportation Secretary involving the President's the president, and so they're going to pick someone new. And so if if he goes in, Eric Garcetti, he's not going to be there for too long. So something, a scandal may potentially plague his um, seat, and so he actually may have to be removed. So if anything, Eric Garcetti will most likely be the best pick for Biden. Well, not really, but um, in, the, in the, the short term it is. All right, so let's do Department of Urban Development. We have Keisha Lamar Bottoms. And then we have another person, that's it. So for Department of Urban Development. Yeah, she will. Because we have here, she's very good at what she does in terms of urban development. She made a lot of deals. She may have some sort of experience here. A lot of projects. She is almost like Biden already gave her a job. He just hasn't announced it. I think she is a very strong candidate for this job. She's very experienced. She has a lot of a lot of experience under her belt. So if anything, she is for sure gonna be in the urban development department. Let's do the secretary again. Will Randy Weeding Garden? Can I fix up three cards? Will she become the next secretary of education for Randy Weeding Garden? Okay. Okay, so in the end, she's going to end up pulling through by a very narrow margin. We have the page of stores, page of wands, so she is a good person. However, she's a little lost. She doesn't know if she's actually going to get it like they promised her, but they're not sure if they're going to give her the job. But there's a little balance here that's going to restore, so probably once, Biden's probably not going to announce her until like, Around the time he knows for sure that the two senators in Georgia are going to win, then um, he's going to probably get her in. Because he knows it's going to be by a very slim margin. 
and she she goes to the White House. So I do see here she ended up taking the seat by a very slim margin. I've seen like 51. So Kamala House will probably have to end up voting for her. All right, so now we have the Minister of Environmental Protections. Spirits and Angels, tell me about the Minister of Environmental Protection, Jay Inslee. All right, so we have here, who's a very good candidate. Sorry, guys, let me just light that up. So we have a very good candidate here. Then we have the page of stories, which tell me he's someone new. Okay, so we have here the page, the page of stories. So he's someone new, a new opportunity here. Almost like bringing birth and youthfulness into the into the uh, presidency. We have here, he has a lot of experience when it comes to Earth. And it's very knowledgeable. We have here, he's being offered a job in the future. And so he automatically starts getting to work. He automatically starts getting to work. So if anything, I will say he gets a job. But it's going to happen a little slowly. But I will say he gets that. Okay, he's the center, I believe. Now we have Pete Buttigieg for a UN ambassador. Is Pete going to become the next UN ambassador of the United States? Okay, so we have, here we have Temperance. So who's a very guy, who's a, who's a, it's going to be a big balance to the Biden administration. We have here, without a doubt, Biden wants him to be the next UN ambassador. However, is not being told, or not, he's not talking about it because he has to hide what he wants because he knows that there's going to be a little bit of pushback from the conservative party. They're going to try to hold back their votes. They're going to try to hold these votes from nominating him. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but in the end, it looks like Pete's going to get in. Yeah, Pete's going to get in. It's going to be shown on the media that it's a barrier for the United States and that uh, the United States has broken the barrier to allow a gay man to represent the United Nations in the U.S. For, okay, so for that, people who said with agriculture, is Heidi Heitkamp going to become the next Secretary of Agriculture? Can I please have three cards, Spirit and Angel? Will she? Yes, she will. Could we have Jasmine here? She's very good. She's very witty. She's going to be all about judgment. It looks like she does get the seat already. She already got in the seat, but it hasn't been announced. It's almost like a predictor. Like, a lot of media is predicting that Biden's going to pick her for the seat. And it's a big yes. So, right now, it's a little hidden. But it will be revealed. So, that Biden will publicly say it. So, Heidi Heitkamp will become the next Secretary of Agriculture in the Biden's administration. Okay, so... For the White House Press Secretary, for Kate Benningfield, Colleen G. Jean Perez, and Simone Sanders. For White House Press Secretary now. Let's cut it in half. Okay, so we have for Kate Benningfield, we have, she is going to be known around the world. So she is, most likely if she does get the job, it's going to be well known. Right now, she has very strong ties to the presidency, so she might have been a former um, press secretary or something like that. She must have worked there before. And it looks like if anything, just my Biden card was telling me that she is most likely going to end up getting a job under Biden. Biden's most, this is Biden's pick right here, right? So if anything, I would say right now, based on everyone else's card, she is going to be the one I project to win the uh, seat. We do have the ace of stories here. Victory, but it's the incumbent. She's not going to do well for uh, Kat Kareem Jean Perez. She's not going to be able to handle the pressure of um, the media. And she's just going to kind of be like being foolish. She's just going to keep saying things that's not really true. And so they're going to have to end up getting rid of her anyway. Then we do have for Simone Standard. She's going to be very struggling. It doesn't look like she's going to be able to get the job. We do have the double, the Hermit, and Victory in the present. So she's an unlikely candidate for the press secretary. She's very unlikely. She does have a very witty tone. However, she does seem a little bit mean in how she says things, even though she doesn't intend to be. In the future, we do have here the the two of the two of pentacles and then the nine of cups. Kind of ignorant. 
So they're debating whether or not that's the type of tone they want to put for the Biden administration. So that's what I'm getting for this. And so I'll just put Kate Benningfield for the White House press secretary. And so if you guys want to know who Biden has already announced for other seats, everything's in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. See you soon. Thank you.